Awesome. We just got this livestock trailer dropped off for us from a friend. We're gonna borrow this for the weekend. Hmm, I wonder what it could be for. Stay tuned for more surprises at Wholesome Roof. This is what happens when your kids are trapped in a car all day and you get to the hotel room. Thank goodness we're on the bottom floor and it's early. Oh. So boys, how do you feel about going on another road trip? Fun. Good. And how do you feel about why we're going on this road trip you know why right yeah. why are we here why are we in north carolina for the night to get a cow <gasps> yes for a cow okay how do you feel about that um, good. good excited yeah happy uh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. scared no. nervous no. rowan can you tell me how you feel about getting a cow tomorrow? Um, In a few sentences. Crazy. Um, and like cool and crazy and yeah. I don't have much to say. Liam. Yeah. Can you tell me how you feel about getting a cow tomorrow? I feel very excited and happy. Very good. Can you tell me how you feel about getting a cow tomorrow? Um, sir, please, please don't change the settings on the air conditioning. Sir, please. Could you tell me how you feel about getting a cow? You want a cow? Mm-hmm. Moo? Mm -hmm. You want a moo cow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, sir, Ryan, could you tell me how you feel about getting a cow tomorrow? I feel pretty good about getting a cow tomorrow. Um, yeah, I feel very good about it. This is a very unique opportunity uh, to go pick up a cow that was for us, you know? So, um, yeah, it's been a really cool trip.
Schulter. Recording. <laughs> oh, it's, it is recording? I hope. Oh. I hit record earlier, but it might have stopped. Oh, I just got very windy. down just a minute okay that was a pretty exciting ride for the through the Blue Ridge Mountains wasn't it I bet you're ready to get out of here and now the real challenge begins how do you get the trailer through all the yard <laughs> stuff over to your goat paddock hmm how this goes. Oh no, the dragon fruit just got ripped in half. Oh. That's okay. It's too late now. Keep going. It needed a pruning. But if you're going to back up now, I can move it before you back up. Yeah. All right. Took down the dragon fruit. Hold on, baby. I know. <laughs> she just stood up and now she's like, wait, you're moving again. She thought we were done because we stopped. Almost there, baby. Get right up to that gate. 
Perfect. I thought driving through the Great Smoky Mountains, pulling a trailer with a cow in it, I thought that was going to be the hard part, which that did get my adrenaline up a little bit. But I think navigating our own yard and backing up to the, to the fence here, I think that might have been the most difficult part. So I feel really good now. The trailer is in position and we are ready to let Cupid out. Yay! Yay. All right, I think that's good. You don't think I need to move the goats? I really feel like I should move them with a bowl of food. The least amount of obstacles, the better, don't you think? Yeah. Let me go get, a, get their food. Betty, 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 no. All right, it's recording now. Not too shabby. She is just a big puppy dog. She is so sweet, so tame. Very nice girl, very nice girl. She's a little bit spooked about the long ride through the mountains, as would be expected. I'm coming on to a new place. That's also gonna be a little spooky, but she'll figure it out. Khaleesi, gentle meat. Khaleesi, gentle meat. Khaleesi, gentle meat. I didn't think about Khaleesi being interested in her. They do have a Pyrenees LGD at their farm, so I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Yeah. And Khaleesi's so, so sweet. She doesn't bother the animals. She just wants to say hello. She's doing just as expected, walking the fence line, looking around, seeing what's here. Totally normal new cow behavior. Give her a minute to adjust. And then we'll start all of the training 
and the treats and the love. She's curious about the sounds she hears over here. Oh, ducks. Ducks flying. That's spooky, sort of. <laughs> Look at her, though, walking that fan sign. Smart girl. What do you girls think? You see that cow? The piney woods over there just staring. Khaleesi, be gentle, gentle meat. Oh my gosh, the piney woods. They're getting excited. Their heads are up. The goats, on the other hand, are running away. <laughs> oh, she's coming to you, Daddy. It's funny. Cupid's going in circles, basically, around and around the fence line, checking it out over and over, making sure she knows her new space. It's a good thing. The, the cows are officially mooing back and forth to each other. I think Cupid is missing her family. And my piney woods are just super curious. <laughs> Aww. She's a sweet girl. I love that I can just walk up to her and pet her anywhere on her body and she's just like, okay. <coughs> what was that, friendship? She even is sweet to the pigs. <laughs> this girl is so sweet. I have just been petting her and petting her and petting her. Look at my hands. I just love her. I can hug her whole body. I have touched every part of every leg, every tail, everywhere on her body. I was a little worried that the travel might have, you know, been a little a little bumpy so I was like, I hope she isn't hurt back there it's kind of a curvy ride but she did just good she did good and I got her to drink some water and she had a bite of hay I think she gonna be just fine what do you think hey Cupid what do you think where are you going oh you're gonna say hi to the dog you tell us you tell us honey you tell us, say hello. I, I love it here. It's so nice. I'm just going to go explore some more. <laughs> Can you say moo? Can you say moo? Moo. Oh, you hear daddy giving out food behind me. It's all those other critters. <laughs> Yes. You say moo? <clears throat> more petting, please. She says more petting, please. 